Yeah, so this is hall five. A lot more camper vans in here. So we're at the Wild X stand. I'm hoping this is, I oh know that's a Proteus. Okay, I was looking for the Pulsar. And here it is. Two berth, four seat belts. Price is standard 72,995. So two berth, four seat belts. Yes, so this Pulsar is on a slightly longer wheelbase now. They used to have the, the really short van, which you'd spot. You can see this is a little bit longer now, so 5.3 metres. Because Fiat apparently aren't doing the sh really short wheelbase anymore. It doesn't really give me a lot of information there. Yeah, 5.4 metres long, 2.7 metres high. See, I better get in here. It's just shows just about to open, so let's have a look in here whilst we can. So this is on an automatic. That's good. So that's a new Fiat automatic. We should make driving very easy. So if you're looking for a camper van that's it's nice and compact, not too long. Recognise these cupboards from our friend Alison who's got a wild axe. They've got an Aurora. So I think this is where you make the bed up here. There'll be some clever things that you put in there and pull it forward. And I do believe you sleep across that way. So controls are up here. I can't help myself, I've got to open a locker. Let's have a look in the cupboards. That's not bad. Nice bit of hanging space there. Somewhere to put your extra cushions. So you need that, don't you? Oh. Yeah, you're going to need that to make up the bed. Okay. Thetford fridge. Seems to not want to open. That's a decent size fridge. Yeah, not bad, not bad. There's a locker below it. TV, I guess, would go up here. We've got in the way of kitchen. Good, a bit of workspace here. A small van and uh, the old Thetford triplex at the back. Combined oven, grill, cupboards here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Loads of storage there, and presumably down there as well. Yep. Okay, that's good. I always admire these from afar. <laughs> these little vans. I don't really know what sort of difference the extra few inches has made, but very clever. Yeah. Another locker there. Tambador for your shower area. And there's your shower point, separate showering and sink tap. Yeah, no, that's perfectly good. That doesn't feel that much smaller than our friend's Aurora. And yet it is quite a bit shorter. I mean, obviously the compromise is, is this, possibly this bed. I mean, I'm not sh sure how big the beds are. Does it say here? No, it doesn't say. I seem to remember, I read them that they were six foot two long, but yeah. No, it's good. It's good. I'll have a look around the back. And what you might also notice is the doors open both sides, so you can get in and out. That might be useful when you're touring on the continent. Get in either side. Spare wheel on the back. Oh, yeah, good. At least it's got a spare wheel. Some bigger motors don't have that. Yeah, like that. Presumably. Yeah, a bit more access there. I think that's probably the access to the toilet, that. 
Oh yeah. Rear view camera up there. No, quite like that. Pockets. Electric there. Quite like this idea of opening both doors. Because you put your kitchen further back, you don't need your kitchen on this side or the other side. Yeah. Oh, going around there, someone. Go around here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Wild axe. Yeah, the one I was hoping to see there at Denby, the Aleutian, is not there. They've got their camper vans, but on the stand next to us, I was rather taken by this Toyota Pro Ace Eco Evolution, and it says it's a seven seater with zero emissions. 50 kilowatt battery up to 144 miles, automatic, obviously. And all electric. Is this the future? Even got a toaster in there, just to prove you can have toast. And a microwave. Presumably electric power then isn't a problem. Have a look. Oh, a nice little chopping board type sink thing here. Oh, that's good. That's very nice. Quite heavy. Uh, induction hob and one outside as well. Touchscreen panel, Vitron controller there. Oh, it smells new. I can still smell the uh, the sealants in here. That's not bad. Not bad. Drop down bed comes from there. I think it's like a concertina. Yeah, concertina effect. Yeah. There we are. One or two pedal driving. Toyota Pro Ace. That looks like the gear lever. Electric handbrake, by the look of it. Duck down a little bit. There's your rock and roll bed. See a tambour door slide it. Vitron energy controller. Oh. Well, what's going on there? It looks like you've got some sort of remote control. As usual, a lot of these have got sliding tracks. Oh. It looks practical. Do you think you could use one that's got a 140 mile range? So as if you're only doing weekends. Yeah. Grid camping. So I've got a separate lithium leisure battery, obviously. 3000 watt inverter, an omni slide induction hob, refrigerator, ice compartment, toilet, sink, and tap, sea rail for awning, USB charging, onboard water tank. Didn't see the toilet, it must be under there somewhere. Uh, that goes sofa loose, not in there. Not sure where it is, but yeah, it says it's got a toilet somewhere. Possibly in there somewhere. Can't get to it. it goes. Yeah, it must be in there. Come back. But this one's even got a heated bed. You, you, you were just telling me that this is a 75 kilowatt van, so I think uh, 
you get a few more miles there. So they've put all the options on here and it's the only zero emissions all electric van at the show. So come and have a look at it. You're at, what stand are you on? 5132. 5132. 5 32. Yeah, it's a Toyota Pro Ace Eco Revolution. Well, yep, certainly is, isn't it? No, I'm not doing that. All right, so Westphalia Columbus 601D. And it's viewing by appointment only, so I might have to get them to let us in and have a look. And the thing about this one is it's got a six metre transverse bed. And it's got 100 litre water tanks, which seems to me to be quite a feature. 140 brake horse, about 67,280, and it's just under six metres in length. So quite a, quite a short van. It should have a lot of space inside. So this is the transverse bed here. So it says it's a six metre transverse bed. Looks pretty square. Little lockers above. I would definitely crack my head on that. Of course, underneath, you've got all that space. Now, that looks like it moves somehow. I'm not sure. Maybe it tilts down or something. Outside shower point. Oh, I've got to have a look in here. All right, thanks a lot. That's great. OK, so we've got a bit of an unusual arrangement here. Now, this is a prototype, so this probably won't go into production. So but they've got a swing round two seater sofa there as well as the driver's seat. So obviously the driver's on that side. So let us know what you think. I think that's quite a good idea. But it is a lot of work to actually make that. So probably won't go into production. Light on here. A little bit of space up there. And of course, the pop top roof gives you all that space up there. Loads of space in here. Obviously you need a ladder to get up there. There's your ladder point. This is Westphalia, so these are really well made motorhomes. Very comfortable looking seats here. Actually got a little uh, pocket down there. That's quite nice. I think that's the table rail there, isn't it? So you can put the table there. Twin burner hob. Chop, chopping board covering the sink. Pockets there. Go that back. Yeah, I can tell it's a prototype. It's still got the European socket on it. USB socket there. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Always like a nice cutlery drawer. Yeah, these are, these are, yeah, feel quite solid. Okay. So what's going on here then? Excuse me? What's going on there with the... Uh... That's a roll-out bed so you can make that into oh, a bed. Oh, right, okay. So the whole thing goes over? Yeah. That folds over and oh wow! Downstairs. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be only for yeah. One adult or okay. Two yeah. Yeah. So if you're taking the grandkids with you, yeah. And there's the wet room. That's all right, isn't it? <laughs> Great big mirror there. the fridge gotcha reasonable size fridge name I've not heard of Vitri Frigo all cupboard oh look at that is that your hanging space I can't tell here maybe yeah you see you've got access through into the garage there yeah, a little bit narrow, a little bit narrow getting through here as you can see, but uh, 
Oh, that's all right. It looks a really comfortable bed. Lockers everywhere. Whoops. And look at there. I think this bed folds up. I will find out. Yeah, so I just checked. This bed does fold up a little bit, so it sort of folds out of the way. So you could put bikes in the back there. Yeah, it's got a sort of a mechanism that lifts it out of the way. It looks like all your um, con um, water tank and everything's in there. Yeah. But yeah, very, very impressed with that. Yeah, so this is the Vantage Fuse. I wanted to look at a, at a couple of the Ford-based motorhomes from Vantage. This is one I can get into at the moment. Oh, this looks really, really nice in here. Very plush seating, bolster cushions. Oh yeah, it's nice to sit down. Yeah, it's on a manual Ford. There's your pop top roof, drop down bed above it. Yeah, very nice. Isotherm compressor fridge. Quite a bit of work top area there. 240 volts socket there, USBs, all your controls. More lockerage here. And there. Do like that seat, that's great. We've got reading lights with USBs. I've seen a few of them seem to have these reading lights up here, which is a great idea. Obviously, if you're sleeping that way, you can look out on the world. Yeah. Ford cab with the big screen. Yeah, no, this is all right. It's a little bit low there, I would say, but they've got some like rubber strips there. It's okay. Cab blinds, good to see. Ah. Like that. I don't think that must make your rock on an old bed, but that looks incredibly comfortable. Mm, impressed with this. We've got some a timbre door here. More lockers there. Quite, still quite a bit of room at the back there. Let's have a look at the back. Well, you could almost sleep on that. that makes part of the bed. And there's your table storage. So we've got one of these tripod leg type things so you could use it outside. Not sure where you there's all your electrics. Not sure where your gas is at the moment but Steel wheels. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. We've got the other one, they've got the Luna, so I'm not sure what the difference is. A quick look. Looks very similar inside. Hey, okay. all right. Yeah, I'm alright. What's the difference with these two? They this is the higher spec. One. Right, so okay. This has got an uh, almost long um, water tank. Yeah. Com fresh water compared okay. to the one just with the container. Oh, right, okay. That's got hot and cold water. Right. Got a diesel heater. Right. Um, 
LPG gas tank as well under alloy the, wheels. Uh, alloys, yeah, it's just, a, it's yeah. just a, the next model. Yeah, it's just specced up. More, but it's got, so yeah, that's 50. Oven and, oven and grill. Yeah, so that's 57, that's 64, that one. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. all right. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah, aren't they? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Beautiful. Yeah. We'll look around the back of that one. Yeah. It's got speakers at the back there, I notice. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if you if you want to freeze frame that. So three one nine zero payload is five two five four two, and it can tow two thousand kilograms. So you could have this and a caravan, <laughs> which be my my thought. You know, get one of these and a caravan to tow a smallish caravan. You just leave the beds up and go out for a day or two at a time. Yeah, I like that. So this is the Vantage Rio, so 100 watt solar panel, two leisure batteries, underslung gas tank, electric step, gas and electric blown air, three burner hub, oven and grill, 85 litre low energy fridge freezer and the Vantage Rio. They've got some cracking vans here. 6.36 meters so it's on the long wheelbase and this is 79,000 so this is a rear lounge van and you've still got a lounge and seats up the front there so that's why we wanted to look at this because it seems a bit of an unusual layout I suppose a little bit like our friends IH in, in layout in terms of layout so you've got the new Fiat cab which is still <laughs> Still think that's new. It's been around a year now, hasn't it? Very comfortable looking seats. Traditional sort of di uh, half dinette arrangement. That works. Nice cupboards. Somewhere to store the table and everything up there. Nice big roof light. Okay. Seat belt's good. Step there. No, no, you keep going. <laughs> That's all right. And usual three burner triplex cooker here. Nice pop up electric points. That should go up a little bit further, won't, won't force it. And you've got the uh, cover for the sink and a bowl in there. That's good. So it's not a huge kitchen, I suppose, but you can make it a bit longer. You've got a flappy up thing. Like there's a fairly big cupboard under here. Oh, there's some drawers in there. I wonder where the, the drawers were. That's nice. Feels well made. Yeah, more drawers under there. Yeah. Oh, it's a super lounge. Yeah. It, <laughs> that does look like an IH in here. See what seats are like. Oh, you sort of sink into them. Very nice. Quite a low back rest on it, but uh, I'm trying to think how long that might be. I think it's quite six foot, but uh, it does feel very stylish and very comfortable in here. Obviously, the fact it goes all the way around. This is always good to see. You know, having a flap on the back door keep the keep the drafts off. Map pockets, USBs. Yeah. Avtex, that looks like a 21 inch with a sound bar on it. Got a little shelf under there, somewhere to put your remotes. It's a good thought. Controls, more USBs there. Cushions. I wonder if you could, do you think you could sleep on there? Maybe. Could probably certainly sleep across here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously. The two sides pull together to make up the bed. This sofa's a little bit longer than the other one. But yeah, I think that would be very comfortable. Nice touch, like a little table there. That's good. Yeah, that is really clever. Somewhere to put your coffee without having to get the table out. Excellent. 
proven that a five foot eight person can swim in here. <laughs> I'm not sure about a six foot, but oh, what have we got? We've got another few inches on there, haven't we? Well, that's you possible. Yeah, I think you could do it without having to put the bed together all the time. Yeah. There we are. Here's the washroom. Shower and tap arrangement. Locker there. That's okay. Even got some radox in there. Bench toilet. Single drainer. Well, that's probably all right. It's nice, deep um, shower tray there. Toilet, towel rail holder. Yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah. Hmm. Did I look at that? I don't know if I did or not. Yeah, more cupboard space there. Yeah, no, I like that. Good. Yeah, so what we've got here is the Mervy Pimento XL. And it's a camper van awards winner 2023 best large camper van. And we're on stand 5020 here. Let's have a look at the specs first. 72,000 on the road price, expedition grey. Uh, rear view camera, shower point, 175 watt solar panel and 150 amp lithium battery, so that's good. I'm thinking ahead there. Let's have a look inside. Oh wow, yeah. This is quite different. You've got the little occasional table up here. I must get one of these myself, I really must. Quite a different sort of shade of, well, I like this blue cupboard door. I like that as well. Kenwood speakers either end. <laughs> no, that's good. I think that's just somewhere to store your extra cushions. Presumably this makes up into a bed. But this is, <laughs> first impression of this is it looks so different. It's probably the colour, but the design, it's different. Yeah, the sink and drainer there, and you've got your cooker at the back, three burner cooker. Can't see a, an oven there, but you've got a big uh, fridge here. We we'll stop with some cold water. That's nice to see, you know, extras like that. Little little windows here, not particularly huge, but then obviously you haven't got much space. It's quite a high worktop, that. Okay. Let's have a look in the washroom. Yeah, that's a wet room. You've even got a soap dispenser on there. Somewhere to hang your shower hose. like it's got a little laundry thing there is that oh that's clever you're always trying to figure out where to put the your dirty clothes access to the back shower curtain hanging points more lockers up there locker up there yeah this is different yeah quite like this different layout that tape, that's a flap that comes up. Presumably that's tied down, isn't it? Looks like there's another table under there. Yeah. Is that a table or? It's part of the single bed. So oh, right, so you make, you make up the bed with that. Yeah. Okay. Would you like me to do it? Yeah, you could do. It'd be different, right? Okay. So that's your first single bed there. All right. And 
your second single bed there. That was nice and easy. Yeah. Can you make it into a double then if you just push yeah, it together? You can push that across. Um, okay. What you do there, you, you don't use this piece. Right. Use the other one. There's, a, there's some storage underneath there. Yeah. Oh, wow. And, uh, there's loads of storage under there as well. Yeah. I like, I like the colour as well. It's different, isn't it? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's brilliant. You're, you're trapped in there now. Only <laughs> temporarily. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's where your bedding goes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like, no, that's good, isn't it? You could almost use that like a little sofa for sitting outside, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. pops up and just clips back and then you just push that all the way back and you've got your lounge back well then take too long oh, nice and simple thank you no problem. <laughs> <Cheers. laughs> have a quick look round the back yeah okay oh, yeah got some little shelves in there you, you've got to access it from inside, yeah. You've got your toilet down there. Right, OK, so the gubbins. Exactly, so the easy, easy to get yeah. from there. Oh, yeah, well, that makes it easy, doesn't it? Yeah. Inboard water tank there. Yeah. So inboard water tank, so no problem freezing it. That's right, it's 73 yeah. litres. Yeah. That's a 115 litre compressor. Yeah. And various options. You could have, have an 85 litre compressor with a 20 litre oven above yeah. it. Yeah, OK. Or you can have a 85, uh, sorry, 20 litre oven at, at eye level. Right, right okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. because you've not got an oven on here at the moment, have you, on this one? No, it's optional. Yeah, really. okay. Why have I missed the toilet? <laughs> it's, come, it's worrying me now. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't, sorry. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it just, it's just a bit hidden. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll get it now. I might cut that bit out. <laughs> but yeah, electric step. And all for 72,104. Oh. 74, sorry, 74,324. Yeah, and then you've got some extras. And I notice you've got lithium batteries and... That's standard lithium battery, 150. Oh yeah, zero, isn't it? Yeah. And a bigger solar panel is extra, but... That's good. Thank you. Like that. Yeah. Look who, we yeah. <laughs> Look who we bumped into. Oh, we'll probably bump into her in the, um, yeah. in the yeah. summer's wood. The, the missing Jenny. Yes, yeah. bless her. Oh, yeah. God, I'm, no, I'm no good here. <laughs> <laughs> Castles in France. Campsites in France. Nature is camping. Campsites in Brittany. Boats. Kayaks. And hundreds and hundreds of tents out there. 